Hi everyone, welcome back to Stitches with Charlie Feathers and I'd like to welcome any new followers and thank you to all of you that keep coming back to watch me. I really appreciate every single like and comment and everyone spending, coming to spend time with me, so thank you. Um, I don't think I've spoke to you since Friday. So Friday evening I went out to um, the Wesley Community Church um, which is, how far away is it? But probably about a 15 minute drive from me. And my my really good friend, her partner plays the organ and the keyboard and he sings. And the West Cornwall, what are they called? The West Cornwall Concert Band, that's what they're called. <laughs> He's just got involved with them and they were having like a Christmas carol concert. And she asked if I wanted to go. So I thought, why not? It's a night out. So it was really lovely. They had like a full on orchestra there. Um, they had a whole choir and then her partner was playing the organ. It's really impressive, massive organ. It was a really beautiful church, actually. I've never been in there before. I don't know if it is actually a church or if it's like a, a community thing. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, really beautiful building with all these really decorative sort of um, ceiling mounts. And yeah, it's just really impressive space. The choir was all up on this balcony with the organ up there as well. So the orchestra was right in front of us. It was a really interesting layout set up. And um, they played um, Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamcoat and lots and lots of Christmas carols. And I had really good fun singing the 12 Days of Christmas. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> I think I got a few odd looks from people sat near us, but I was like, I don't care. I don't go out very often in the evening, so it's just nice to have some fun. And oh, it was full moon, I think, that night, or it might have been the night before. Anyway, it was a really clear sky um, and dry, and the moon was really bright. But it was so cold. I think it was minus two here. So I had to be a bit careful driving home. And then Saturday, I kitted up um, Santa's helper by Yasmin Maywood Love, her new freebie pattern, which I'll be sharing with you in a minute. So I kitted that up and started stitching that and I absolutely love it. I'll show it to you now. So I'm using most of the called for DMCs on the pattern. I couldn't get the Krynik to work, um, but I had something from my Patchwork Rabbit advent, which I can share with you in a minute. So this is as far as I've got. I'm just doing this on a 32 count linen. I think it's the fabric flare one. So yeah, I've just I've nearly finished a hat. The hat comes down a bit further with a white pom pom on the end, and then it has a gold star hanging off it, like tied onto the hat. So yeah, I will put a, a picture in here of what the finished design looks like. So I started that on Saturday because I was procrastinating filling in all that white, all the white snowflake filling for my Barbara Anna. I'm really close to finish on this. I've just got to finish the lace detail at the bottom and her legs and her shoes. I'll probably finish that tonight so because I was procrastinating from stitching all this white filling I started Yasmin's freezing pattern and I really really enjoyed it I'm looking forward to getting back to it um so yeah that was Saturday and then Saturday night I went out for a Christmas meal which was really nice it was the Cornwall vegans um we've got like an online Facebook group um and the moderator of that had organised a Christmas meal, like not far from me, probably about a 15, 20 minute drive again. So um, yeah, I decided to go to that. It was really, really nice. Had some nice company and the food wasn't fantastic, but I really enjoyed my pudding. The pudding was really nice, but the main course wasn't great. It was a roast dinner, but I think it was really salty and um, oily. I just didn't really enjoy it. Um, but the dessert made up for it and I had a really lovely Biscoff milkshake as well which was delicious <laughs> so that was Saturday and then yesterday what did I do yesterday oh I spent the whole day with, like with my girls and my husband and a friend of ours and their little boy um we went to a free festive weekend it was all outdoors um on the other coast on the south coast of Cornwall and they had vintage children's um rides like merry-go-rounds and swings. They had fake snow, because we haven't got snow here in Cornwall, it's very rare it'll snow. They have fake snow blowing out in the streets, they had the vintage 
um, fairground rides. Um, they had like a little Santa's grotto. They had stalls. Um, they had a land train, which we went on. That was really fun. Um, they had an ice rink and ice, like curling on an ice, a smaller ice rink. We didn't do that. But we had some nice um, chips while we were out and um, like had a mooch around that. Went on the land train, went on the children's rides. It was so cold. It was freezing. I think it was zero degrees. It was really, really cold. And it did like sleet at one point. And I thought, oh, we might have to abandon. But no, it was fine. It was just really cold. And then last night, I sat and did the fill-in for that Barbara Anna, and my husband played the Witcher. So we sat together, he played the Witcher on the Xbox, and yeah, I did all that filling in. It was really lovely, a really peaceful evening. And then today, I had to go into town to do a bit of shopping. I desperately needed a new rucksack, because mine's completely falling apart where I wear it every day. Um, I went to the body shop to get some more of this gorgeous hand cream. I'll show it to you. It's their Christmas special. It's um, spiced orange. Orange, vanilla and cinnamon. Oh, it's so nourishing on your hands. Mine is so dry at the moment. I think it's the combination of heating and also the cold air. Um, but it's 96% natural origin ingredient and they're against animal testing. It is a vegan product. And it smells so delicious. I bought one last week and then I went back and got another one. If you've got a body shop card, they've got 20% off There's that stuff at the moment. So I think instead of £6 a tube, it was like £3.80, which is quite good. And yeah, it's been a really nice day. It's been really cold again, but dry. Um, but yeah, we're just having a slow week here. My daughter is going to stay off school this week. We just don't want to send her back for three days and risk her being unwell for her birthday on Friday. So we're just going to keep her off. And I think there's a weather warning. I think it's going to be quite um, unsettled, the weather. I think we're expecting snow, but whether we will or not, I don't know. So yeah, that's everything I've been up to. Oh, and I'll just show you my patchwork rabbit before I go. So yeah, the crying eggs that I couldn't get to work. Um, on Santa's helper because it was just too close to the fabric it just wasn't showing up look it just didn't look that great um but I've got this um gentle arts gold leaf so when would that have been Saturday and I thought that's perfect so I've been using that and then yesterday what did I get yesterday? Oh, yesterday I got Gentle Arts Endive. And today, I really love today's. It's classic Colourworks Tahiti Orange. I think that's gorgeous. My little ring's filling up quite a bit now. Isn't that delicious to look at? It's so nice, isn't it? And I was feeling the envelopes the other day. And I'm pretty sure there's two more of these um cottage garden threads i really hope that is but i think it is they feel bulky and they feel like these little twists of thread so i'm really hoping that's the case so yeah i'm gonna hopefully finish my um winter girl tonight and then get back onto yasmin's santa's helper oh and i forgot to tell you we are stitching that together so anyone can join us and we're using the hashtag clumsy helper so if you want to come and join us, then we'd love to welcome you over on Instagram with that hashtag. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you're all OK and I hope you're keeping warm wherever you are. I know I complain about mines, too, but I know in America and other places you get a lot worse than that. But I think it's just the UK is not really built for it, especially in Cornwall. Like it's quite hilly round here and they don't get the grit salters out and it gets a bit hairy. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm planning to just have a really gentle, quiet week at home, slowly wrapping presents for my daughter. I've still got the bag to make for that little mouse I got from the charity shop the other day. Maybe some nice Christmas films, some nice Christmas craft activities like making paper chains and snowflakes. I'm going to do that this week. Um, maybe some Christmas painting and just take it really easy and staying in the warm. 
and yeah that's it really so i'll see you tomorrow take care bye